Hawks and always reserve. Maloney and Oakley. Oakley gets it down towards Highland and Christian Shaw. Mitchell for off the centre wing. Doesn't take it with him. Damien Clark got a push in the back. And he will take the free kick in the middle for Bannockburn. Handballs it away to Christian Shaw. Now he goes along with a torpedo punt. Good kick for distance to Aitchison. Stands his ground off the back. Peacock needs to get it away. Does so. Shuffles it out. Still at half forward for Bannockburn. And uh, Mitchell does kick from uh, half back. Goes towards a vacant centre half forward position. Clinton Shaw gets back there. Off falls in the arms of Shane Stone. Outside of the right boot. Goes towards full forward. Off the back, Troy Maharis goes towards the uh, point, point post. Coming at it, Gibbs wants to see it over the line and does for a rush behind to Thompson. They get a 5 11 41. And they trail Bannockburn 8 7 55. Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard. A minute played. Just a bit of foot speed. Thompson didn't have it up forward, Laurie. Did no, they? there was just a glimmer of a chance in you know, it. Maybe uh, soccer went off the ground What's or something, but, <laughs> you got, but you've got to have your pace there. He's picking for running over the line, I think. Yeah, the kick out is coming out over the line to Umpire Nolan has uh, blown the whistle. And the ball will be put in the air. Gee, he's the, got good eyes to see the line. The it would have been way. washed away 20 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. That's probably why. It's probably the tide's gone that way. And it in. <laughs> so now the opportunity for uh, Thompson because they're uh, on the 10 metre line. And umpire Nolan and put the ball in the air. Surely Bannockburn be happy to go for the line. But the uh, ball comes to ground. Huge congestion. Time. I think we might have a ball up unless he picks one out. No. So... Uh, Umpire Nolan now, still on the end of the 10 metre square, will put the ball into the air once again. Big pack of players down there, Maloney, Ruckwork. Now the tap comes out wide for Bannockburn. Van Ingen tried to kick it off the ground, couldn't get foot to the ball, comes back towards the wing. Mitchell picks it up for Thompson, Ooh, drops it like pick a bit of soap. Toe pokes the ball forward for uh, his teammate in Christian Highland, throws the ball away, ball toward the boundary line, just Brought in by Bannockburn. Carr over the top to Shaw. Christian Shaw does well. Gets the long kick to the centre wing. Aitchison leads in the race for the ball. Coming across there, Dale Menzies. He's uh, hit head, head high. Mitchell slides in for the footy. Handballs it low. Aitchison picks it up. Ball over the boundary line. Adjacent to our broadcast position. The so boundary umpire will put the ball in once again. Ball comes in from the boundary umpire. Doesn't get to, to the Ruckman. Broom, nice little hand pass to uh, Christian Shaw. He's tackled by several. Umpire said ample opportunity to get rid of the footy. So uh, it's given back to Christian Highland of Thompson. Centre wing, Thompson uh, Highland kicks long. Half forward, Urkoli can't take the mark. Picked up at the back of the pack by Gibbs. Kicks right across the ground. Now we've got a foot race, Timmy Gardner against uh, Damien Clark. Gardner won easily. Has time to bend down, pick up the footy. Kicks it forward. Look for a free kick down the ground. Wasn't paid. Forbes, Luke, picked the footy up, but he's bundled over the boundary line with it. And the ball has progressed to uh, within 40 metres of the behind post for uh, Thompson. But they need goals desperately. Oakley and Maloney. Maloney in front. Gets the ball to the front. Then follows up. Picked up there by Riley. He's dumped over the boundary line. And the ball will be thrown in once again. Four minutes gone. Final quarter. 5-11 Thompson. Trail Bannockburn. 8-7. So a ball up. In fact, a boundary throw in. And it'll be Oakley up against Maloney. Boundary umpire throws the footy in. Neither can get an effective tap because they both miss the ball. Stone over the top of it with Maloney. Kick off the ground by Oakley. Broom. His kick's partly smothered. Comes across half back. Foot race. Getting across there first was... Uh, Highland, but uh, outnumbered, and one of them is Matty Dillon, who runs from half back, goes towards centre wing, past Mullane Grant, Aitchison backs himself, handball towards Peacock, needs some support, tried to kick it off the ground, turnover and possibly, Mullane Grant gets around, torpedo punt towards centre half forward, Andrews hits him in the chest, now he needs to get away from O'Connor, loses the football, on hands and knees, O'Connor, Ripped off the football, coming through Flanagan as well. Mitchell handballed it somehow to Woods. Now Andrews coming at him. Menzies kicked it off the ground. Cameron Carr, he might be able to keep it in. It's out of bounds for a throw in. They keep pushing it forward, and that's all you've got to do. And uh, it's not very uh, pretty, but uh, it's effective. So a boundary throw in on the outer side, half forward flank. Bannockburn into attack, southern end of the ground. Still with the breeze, still lead by 14 points. Throw in over the back of the pack. Christian Shaw through the middle. Gardner's there as well. Oh, Flanagan tried to kick it off the ground. Dwayne Broom picked it up and got it away to Malone. Grant runs to 40 metres out. And 
has missed. missed. Three, four, one behind. To Tom Mullane, Grant, three goals to his personal tally this afternoon. And they go to 8 8 56. They lead Thompson 5 11 41. Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboards. Five and a half minutes played. So Armstrong to kick in for Thompson. Decides to come to the uh, oh. grandstand side. Terrible kick. Straight into the arms of Cameron Card. Dar ready, Darren Ryan was uh, calling for the Let's ball go. there, but uh, he's still free. Carr decides to go for home. Big torpedo. Oh, Good got kick. The distance. Fine kick, but just to the left of the tall timber. Another behind to Bannockburn. 8 9 57. They lead Thompson 5 11 41. Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard. Six minutes gone. I think the Thompson fellow's got to realise the ball's not going to carry as far as it did early on in the game because it's got a lot heavier. So Armstrong will uh, have another go at kicking out. Turn I mean, the ball. I mean, they're, they're standing uh, 70 metres from yeah. goal from the man with the ball. He so normally kick it that far, but not He today. normally would. <laughs> well, he's great. That is still a great kick to there. The wind. 50. The wind's held it up. Andrews kept his feet and then tried to get the footy out. Flanagan over the top of it. O'Coley fighting hard. Handball comes towards Clark, also in there, nail on. And umpire will come in, ball it up 40 metres out from the Bennington goal. Must be pretty hard for the umpires, Welsh, at this point, to just know how far they can let it go before yeah. they blow the whistle. Yeah, it is. Just, just uh, hard for everyone yeah. at you know, these conditions. So a ball up. Andrews goes up to the side of the pack. Aitchison over the top of it. Now through the middle, Menzies. He's wrapped up, not going anywhere. Damien Clark. And also Corey Flanagan pinning him to the ground. But well, she the best uh, result for Bannockburn is have it in that area. I mean, yeah. if, if someone does run in with a stray kick off the ground, uh, who knows where it's going to go? It might, uh, might be luck to fluke a goal. So Oakley gets it down to the back of the pack. Christian Shaw handball back to Cameron Carr, running for a couple, backs himself, then loses the football. Malane Grant over the top of it as well, tried to soccer kick it off the ground. Menzies did. Now Mitchell runs at it, can't pick it up. Now kick off the ground by Gibbs, uh, back to Oakley. Mark Page is it? Yes, it is. Yeah, no advantage. No. And the mark will come back to Dean Oakley inside defensive 50. So, and Darren, 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 Darren Ryan's done a hamstring. No, he's got cramp. Got cramp, has he? I reckon it's cramp. So, Dean Oakley chips the ball to Sabali Armstrong, still inside defensive 50. Cold weather wouldn't be helping. No. Roberts coming back on for Peacock. Now Armstrong goes towards Akali and Mullane Grant. In front, Maloney did well as a rover. Gives it away to Gibbs. The outside of the right boot towards Clark kick. at half forward. He's taken the mark at 50. Thought about playing on quickly. Darren Ryan has recovered <laughs> sensationally, seeing as though there's a goal on offer. Goes short towards uh, Nalon. Can't take the mark. Now Forbes. Aitchison in there also. Still inside 50 for Bannockburn. Nalon fighting for it. And the umpire will come in and ball it up. 8 9 57 Bannockburn Thompson 5 11 41 and we've been playing eight and a half minutes in the final term so up by Nolan puts the ball in the air inside 50 for uh, Bannockburn Highland takes it get, gonna have to kick it he does runs to the middle diving forward well the mark's been paid to with Joshua Kiley handball to Highland who's run he decides to kick long nobody in the forward half for uh, Thompson Forbes attacks the footy Need some support up there. Finally, it's uh, Clinton Shaw. He gets the ball wide to Dwayne Broom. Along the ground, he kicks it towards the, uh, the boundary. Looking for it. Doesn't quite get there. Picked up by Gibbs. Handball to uh, his teammate running, and uh, they take it to the boundary line. As uh, Darren Ryan has come off the ground. Sam Hickleton has come on. And uh, Sam, I want to keep pretty warm. He's been, uh, been uh, ill. So the ball now. Half forward flank for... Uh, Thompson, Oakley at the back, gets it to Stone. Picked up there by Clinton Shaw to the centre. Andrews can't take the mark, comes to ground. Mitchell tries to pick it up, gets around, tackled. Let's the ball go, comes into the arms there of uh, Andrews. Somebody back in the middle there too. Ball at centre half forward. Picked up by Clark, he's tackled. Oh, he flicks it out between the, the legs. Players going down off the ball. Forbes gets the ball out as uh, the ball comes in. Finally, Baxter for Thompson. Kicks towards centre wing. Two on one. Numbers favour Bannockburn. Goes over their heads. Coming back onto the football there is Woods. Ball comes out. Clinton Shaw dives on it. Umpire says, I'll have it. And on true centre wing. Alistair Woods, I think, has got... Uh, his legs are a bit weary as well. 
So uh, the weather and the day certainly taking its toll. Even Dean Oakley looks to be cramping up a bit. Comes in there. Maloney gets a tap down to uh, Aaron Broom. He gets it toward the boundary. Oh, players, uh, the ball is over. It's, uh, one of the players getting pretty close to the fence, was Christian it? Shaw. <laughs> I told Tim Gardner about it too. He's OK. That's yeah. the main thing. The ball about to be thrown in once again. Very close to the boundary line. There's Green a whistle on play. Maloney, a ruck infringement. So, uh, ball handed back there to uh, Peter Maloney. As, uh, <laughs> it was tired of what went to kick the ball and fell over. Goes to, well, Cameron Carr on his own. Takes a chest mark. Gets a handball to Darren Ryan. Kicks it long into the full forward position. It's going to hit the ground and skid. It could end up going through. Hickleton tried to kick it off the ground. Finally, it's a rush behind to Bannockburn. 8 10 58 Bannockburn. 5 11 41 Thompson. Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard. 11 and a half minutes gone. Armstrong kicks in short. Finds Baxter. Plays on quickly. Runs towards defensive 50. <laughs> Terrible kick off the boot. Dwayne Broom couldn't take it with him. Riley kicks it out of his hands and out of bounds for a boundary throw in. And it will be thrown in between wing and half forward on the outer side. Could it be the first grand final in your living memory, Laurie, that there wasn't a goal kick in the second half? Oh, it'd have to be <laughs> pretty close, I think. Uh, you guys went to a game where there wasn't a yeah. goal kick for the whole day. It'd be, have to be worse. At least we had enjoyment for 50 minutes. So, boundary throw in. And punch to the front by Maloney. Kick off the ground by Mitchell. Goes towards a Coley. Oh, threw it around his back. And uh, the ball came th free. Baxter can't keep it in. It will be another boundary throw in. We see Aaron Van Ingen coming off. They're falling like nine pins, the Bannockburn well, boys. I think it's hypothermia. Is that what it is? I think I'm, I'm, I'm not a bit used to it. He looks like he's got a bit of an ankle. Hitchcliffe coming on for him. So a boundary throw in. Half forward flank. Akoli from behind. Punches it down. Ryan, Akoli tries to tap it out. Kick off the ground by Highland. Then a kick off the ground by Riley. Goes towards Aaron Broom. Riley kept his feet. Another kick on the ground. Beckham does very well. Gets it over the top to Veron. Veron over the top to Beckham. <laughs> Sounds like Manchester United at the moment. The ball is on centre wing. And comes out the back of the pack towards Stone. His handball. Set up Highland. Comes back towards Maloney. Highland on top of it as well. He tries to get it away. He, ham he tried to handball it. He couldn't do so. Stone comes in. Oh, ball the bloody footy up for God's sake, umpire. <laughs> oh, Jeez. Like that, oh, they're struggling like hell out there. And it will be a ball up on centre wing on the outer side. This is when you... Well, I'd love to be a timekeeper. I just knuckle a few minutes on. Yeah. 8-10-58, <laughs> <laughs> panic burn. They lead Thompson 5-11-41. We've been playing 13 minutes final term. Still no goal in the second half for either team. And it will be a boundary throw in now. Still on centre wing on the outer side. At least we get the ball a couple of yards in from the boundary line for a few seconds. Yeah. <laughs> God knows how to ruin a good grand final sometimes, <laughs> doesn't he, hey? He's a powerful man. Boundary throw in on the outer side. Centre wing, a Coley. Thumps it down to the side of the pack. Kick out of midair by Broom. Also in there fighting for it was, uh, I think it might have been Ryan. And the ball will come back to umpire Andrew. Flanagan gets off the bottom of the pack also. So still on centre wing on the outer side. Ruck contest, Oakley and Maloney. Stone ducked his head, tried to get the ball free. Comes out towards Christian Shaw. Got some supporting Corey Flanagan. Left foot kick around the corner, foot race. Getting back there, O'Connor. He uh, paddles it back 10 metres, needs to pick it up now. Malone Grant right next to him. Comes free towards Mitchell. Handball towards Baxter. Set him up a little bit. Nathan Lewis tried to kick it off the ground. Roberts now he tried to tap it on. Cameron Carr gives uh, Ryan a shepherd. He can't pick it up, so he kicks it off the ground. Gains 10 metres. Menzies gets back there. Just outside 50 for Bannockburn. And they set over the boundary line once again. We'll have another throw in. They certainly worked at 100 metres forward, Laurie, though, didn't they, by the same token? Well, that's what I say. It's not that pretty area care, but that's, uh, if, you, if you're going to have ball-ups, you want them in your 50, not in the opposition's 50, and uh, Thompson, the ones who got to uh, play catch-up footy, and it's going to be very, very difficult. So 15 minutes in the last quarter, the ball comes in at the back of the pack there for Bannockburn. Picked up there by Clark, tried to chip pass, but intercepted by Baxter of Thompson. Kicks wide, looking perhaps for the safety of the boundary. Oh. Broom, Aaron, went for a fresh air shot, missed the footy altogether, ball comes in, Christian Shaw misses it, players diving on it, it's dangerous with the, the free kick possible there, ball comes under a number of players again, oh, now Pyre, well, he's pinged uh, 
I'm trying to see who it is. Stone, 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 Stone. again. So uh, the free the ball has been handed back to uh, Aaron Broom, and on centre wing decides to go for the torpedo. Gets it reasonably well to half forward. The back Roberts looking for the boundary. Couple of very very tired players there, I think out there. Hardly run to the footy as uh, Shane Andrews comes off for a rest. And the ball will be thrown in between wing and half forward flank out of side. Half forward flank for Bannockburn. Kicking in this final quarter to the southern end. As Ash Perkins comes back on. At the back of the pack, Lewis picks it up, goes to full forward. The ball in Here the goal go. square. Here's the Pam, chance. There's Sam, the first goal for the second Sam. half. Off the ground, Sam Heckleton. And that's uh, that's the ball game. Certainly the ball game there. Ninth goal for Bannockburn. 9-10-64. They lead Thompson 5-11-41. Buckley's Entertainment Centre. Final quarter scoreboard. 16 minutes gone. Yep, well, I was just skidding it forward at all costs, wasn't I? Well, that's right, and uh, that's what I, I was alluding to before, you know, as long as you've got it up there and that, that ball comes out, that one skidded over the back of the pack, everyone left it and got in front of the ball and uh, Sam was the only one back. Never looked like getting a kick, but <laughs> he's kicked the goal in the grand final. We, little When he tells his grandchildren, we never kicked a goal to the last 10, 15 minutes of the second half. Ball up in the middle, Maloney got it down, but a pack develops around Dan O'Connor. Nathan Lewis wraps him up. And umpire bench will put it in for a secondary bounce. Oakley up against Maloney. Neither get an effective tap. Now Gardner got legged. We'll get a free kick. Thought about handling to Armstrong, but Nathan Lewis stood right next to him to make sure he couldn't do it. So Gardner goes towards centre half forward from the back of Coley. Oakley over the top of it. Umpire says play on. Falls to Flanagan. Gets a kick out of the pack towards the middle. Baxter. Had it, lost it. Lewis in there. O'Connor also runs through the middle. And I think Lewis <laughs> caught one in the head. A stray elbow coming around in the tackle. And a free kick over the shoulder and going to Dan O'Connor. So Dan O'Connor will take the free in the middle. And a few people, a few players holding heads Hold out there. Head. Nathan Lewis, Dan O'Connor. Now O'Connor goes towards half forward. Nick Maharis goes up. Can't take the mark. Great front and centre. Christian Highland. Left foot kick around the corner towards the left forward pocket foot race. Dylan gets across there. Does well. Safe to the boundary line. Does very nicely. Shows poise, the youngster. And sees it over the boundary line for a throw in half forward flank. Thompson into attack. They need a couple of quick ones. About four of them. <laughs> they haven't kicked a goal in the second half. So boundary throw in. Oakley up against Maloney. Nick Maharis gets it down towards the front. Highland. He's uh, got it on the boundary line. Left foot kick towards the pocket. Off hands. Dylan did well. Stone and Giles. And it will be a boundary throw in. About 45 metres around from the Thompson goal. And they trail 5 11 to 9 10. Boundary throw in now. Nick Maharis gets it with the right fist towards Gardner. Now Luke Forbes, handball towards Oakley. Standing there, Gibbs tries to get the kick away. Corey Flanagan does towards half back. Menzies can't take the mark. Foot race now. Ryan, if it sits for him, he's away. The coach is away. And he goes on centre wing with a right foot kick towards half forward. Nalen leads in the race of the football. Can't pick it up the big man. Perkins is next to him. Now tapping it away. Forbes close to the boundary line at half back. Kicks along the ground. Good to Menzies. Now Menzies picks it up, short little kick towards Highland, and Highland, oh, got one high, umpire bench said yes, we'll take the free kick. He's been good all day. He's been he? great, hasn't he, Christian Highland. for Thompson. Lone hand in the midfield, really, possession-wise, for Thompson. Highland goes towards Acoli, off hands, broom at the back of the pack, coming through Gibbs, trying to get it away to Christian Shaw, close to uh, centre wing, oh, Christian Shaw got murdered, and it will be a ball up. Centre wing, 9-10-64, Bannockburn, Thompson, 5-11-41. We've been playing 20 minutes, final term. So a pipe bench on centre wing, about to put the ball in the air. Players that tired, they're having trouble getting up off the ground as the ball goes in the air. Oakley, use the body, kick the ball off the ground. Stone, can't control, Oakley comes in. Tackle high, said the uh, umpire. So, uh, Carr... It's 50, you stupid idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... 
bit of frustration there from Cameron Carr. He's not careful to get another 50, and uh, the man on the mark will be in the goal square. I think he got a decent serve there off the coach. I too, think he, he did, pass. too. <laughs> yeah, it just happened to be the coach was right on the spot, wasn't he? So I now Cameron Carr is inside 50, 35 metres from goal. Will take a very good kick from Dean Oakley by the same token. Very heavy ball, very slippery ball. Decides to go for Ooh. the kick to the pocket. Oh, oh great in the conditions, Luke, Luke Forbes. Forbes, sensational mark, and uh, my goodness, what a great effort, late in the game, Forbes, forward pocket, man on the mark's only 25 metres from the behind post, but Luke Forbes, the wrong side of the ground for a left footer, comes in, the sort of goals he kicks, he's brought that one back, nowhere near enough I'm afraid. One behind. See, one goal, six, I think I've got Luke Forbes down for. Five goals, 12, 42, Thompson. They trail Bannockburn, 9, 10, 64. Buckley's Entertainment Centre, final quarter scoreboard, 21 and a half minutes gone. Robbie Giles from fullback for Bannockburn. Looks to the outer side. Oh, terrible kick off the boot, but Lux of Fortune Gibbs in front, but didn't take the mark. Now Hinchcliffe, fresh air shot through Highland's hands, past Christian Shaw. Kick off the ground, Bannock burner away at half back. Flanagan turns around and kicks it high towards half forward. Good kick for distance. Aitchison can't take the mark over the back. Now Cameron Carter run onto it, needs to pick it up and run through. Wrapped up. Did he get a high tackle or was it? Yes, he, he did. did. He's very lucky because he took him on, but he got away with it. And we'll take the free kick at half forward. Now goes towards 50. Good kick towards Nayland. Over the back, Lewis. Hickledon to tap it on for Lewis. And also Riley's there as well. Nathan Lewis, good pick up. Drills it in front of him a little bit. Kick off the ground around the corner. Gains 25 metres towards Mullane. Grant's out of bounds. <coughs> and it will be a boundary throw in right. Forward pocket, panic burn into attack. Did, did well Hickledon shading uh, the body away from uh, to give Lewis a chance to get to the footy, didn't he? He did. Boundary throw in now. For Hickledon and Oakley. Oakley got it to the side of the pack dangerously though. Towards the 10 metre square coming out Nalen. Through the middle Riley. Under pressure from Lewis. Malane Grant there as well. Happy to see it over the line. There's not enough at the moment though. They trail 5-12-42. Bannockburn 9-10-64. By 22 points. And we've been playing at 23 minutes final term. Boundary throwing. Left forward pocket for Bannockburn. Oakley. Stands his ground in the ruck contest. Lewis through the middle. Now Riley gets away. Short little kick to nobody. Ryan, the coach to finish it off from 40 metres out. Good kick oh. for distance. Darren Ryan, goal! Oh. Premiership, Bannockburn. He's given that a thump. And that is his fifth of the afternoon. And that's the Premiership for Bannockburn in season 2003. 10-10-70, they lead Thompson. 5-12-42. Buckley's Entertainment Centre, final quarter scoreboard. 23 minutes of just working well, she up. <laughs> You've been on fire today, Laurie. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what, there's certainly some uh, hands on hips now because it uh, was well over before, but she's uh, yeah. certainly shot now. There's no doubt about that. There's uh, no way they can get up now, but uh, no, he's been uh, very, very good up there, Eric. So back in the middle with uh, umpire Nolan to, uh, well, probably the last rights now, the last couple of minutes. 24 minutes gone, final quarter. Tapped down by Oakley. Only as far as Clark, however. He kicks it towards the centre wing. Attacking the footy is Carr. Picks it up. Handball backwards to Christian Shaw. Over. Round the corner to Ryan once again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So Darren Ryan kicked the ball. He was absolutely exhausted. Got it 15 metres. And it was a downfield kick. It's gone to Ashley Perkins. So Perkins there. Man on the mark is on 50. Kicks off the side of the boot. Over the boundary line and out on the fall. Five metres from the behind post. So uh, free kick will go to Marcus Forbes. Late in the last quarter now. Has uh, Marcus Forbes now. Back pocket. Nathan Lewis, man on the mark. Free kick for out of bounds on the fall. Forbes now. Can only kick it as far as he can. I would suggest he does. Kicks it long. Good looking kick. It's outside 50. The back of the pack. It's over Mitchell's head. Carr attacks the footy. Handball to Andrews. Straight through. Handball from Gardner to Highland. Highland now. Nice looking kick towards half forward. Oh, almost a great mark. Clinton Shaw coming around get to get the footy was Dan O'Connor. Smothered off the boot. Coming back Flanagan. Just stands and delivers. Kicks as far as he can towards the setter. 
in front. Dean Oakley takes the mark in front of Cameron Carr. So Oakley of Thompson has the mark. Shane Stone in a bit of bother on the centre wing as Oakley goes wide to Christian Highland. He's taken the mark, thought about going on, but didn't. Now decides to kick the ball long to centre half forward. Oh, Coley up and down before the ball got there, came to the back of the pack. Just paced Christian Shaw, too quick there for Luke Forbes. Gets to the ball first, throws it back along the ground, looking for David Gibbs. Gibbs now kicks toward the boundary, leading in the race for the ball is Robbie Giles. Plenty of time, kicks it towards uh, Shane Andrews, the diving mark on centre wing. Playing with confidence now, Bannockburn. It's all over, kicks towards the centre of the ground. Carr drops the mark. Coming in is uh, Darren Ryan. Picked up, get some assistance from Perkins. Handball to Flanagan. Flanagan now, kick towards half forward, the lead from Nolan, attacks the footy. He's in front of Marcus Forbes, hooks it around the body. Going goalwards, leading in the race for the ball there is uh, Noel Riley. And is content to see the ball over the boundary line ahead of uh, himself and Sam Hickledon. The ball 30 metres from the behind post, deep in the attacking zone for Bannockburn once again. Dean Oakley desperately trying to get to the contest. Won't make it as uh, Andy Aitchison goes up for the ruck. Doing the roving is uh, Oakley. Throws the ball out. Picked up by Mitchell. Just uh, gets foot to ball. Christian Highland. Ooh. Well, Andrews had no eyes for the football then as uh, I think Timmy Gardner they tried to... Too, uh, <laughs> Timmy tried to square the ledger, but uh, I don't think any harm done in that uh, little altercation. The ball now thrown in. Half forward flank for Bannockburn. Up high is Andrews. From behind, the ball uh, comes to ground. Nathan Lewis, kick off the ground to the forward area. Tom Mullane, Grant attacks the footy. I'll tell you what, he's a chance from there. Thrown down without the football. Comes loose. Another handball comes to Perkins on the left foot. Kicks it goal with Hickleton. Does well to get uh, his opponent, Riley, out of position. And the ball off hands over the band line. 27 minutes gone. Final quarter. 5-12-42 Thompson. They trial Bannockburn 10 10 70. So boundary throw in right forward pocket. Hickledon in the air. Flanagan takes out the ruck, dropped the footy, free kick to Thompson. And it will be in the last line of defence to Tim Gardner. So Tim Gardner now has got a Coley on a long lead. Oakley's there as well. Goes short towards Highland. And he's taken the mark, still inside defensive 50. Aitchison at centre half back goes in that direction now. Takes the mark and play on. Goes with the right foot kick. The lead on from Luke Forbes a long way up the ground. Can't take the mark. Off hands through the middle. And slung to the ground was, uh, I think it might have been O'Connor. Now over the top to Perkins. Turn it around. Can he pick it up? Yes, he can. Give it away to Carr. Stands his ground. Luke Forbes through the middle. Off his hands. Now Damien Clark over the top of it. At centre half forward. Shuffles it out. Yes, he threw it out. I was being very kind to Damien Clark there with the shuffle. He threw it to Ashley Perkins. And the free kick to Dean Oakley at centre half back. Holds up. Tim Gardner takes the mark. Plays on now. Kick back in board. Looking for and finding Nick Maharis. Thought about playing on. Saw Nathan Lewis out of the corner of his eye. Got it away by hand to O'Connor. He goes to half forward. Lead on Troy Maharis. Takes the mark in front of Giles. Still outside 50. Could go long. Armstrong in the square. Goes in that direction now. Wobbly punt kick. Armstrong on hands and knees. Falls to the back of the pack. Runs towards the 10 metre square. Gibbs happy to see it through for a rush behind. They go to 5-13-43, Thompson. They trail Bannockburn, 10-10-70. Siren, that is the final score. So Thompson have gone down to Bannockburn. Bannockburn premiers for season 2003, 10-10-70. They've defeated Thompson 5-13-43 by 27 points. And the goal kickers for Bannockburn, five to Darren Ryan, three to Tom Mullane, Grant singles to Ben Nalen and to Aaron Broom, while for Thompson, singles to Brett Hood, Brett Anderton, Luke Forbes, Shane Stone and Savali Armstrong. And in the final term, two goals, three to Bannockburn and Thompson managed three behinds. They managed five behinds after half time, no goals. And uh, for, it, for the uh, Bannockburn side, they managed those two goals in the final term to Darren Ryan, to Sam Hickledon. That was the difference. They are the premiers for season 2003. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have the final siren. Thanks to Australian True to Pine this afternoon. We'll have our wrap of the 2003 GDFL Grand Final and the presentation of 
the Geelong, the Buckley's Cup, sorry, and also have the presentation of the medallions. The VCFL best player on the ground and our best player on the ground for the grand final this afternoon in Bannockburn's victory over Thompson. We'll take a break. Back after this on 94.7 The Pulse, your home of local football. Kicks, he gets an assist and he assists a lot out on the ground that uh, he's prepared to run that uh, five, ten metres hard to uh, Shepard and get it or block a player. And uh, well, he, he's, he's learned a lot in his football. Is that there's no doubt about that. Uh, so. Uh, That'll be uh, received pretty well, I think. So we had the presentation to the umpires this afternoon. The central umpires, Mark Nolan, Darren Bench and Kim Andrew. And uh, they did a fair job with their conditions. I mean, after half-time, both players and umpires, although we thought it was a bit wussy that they went off at three-quarter time. Yeah, I think they, they lost some points for that. <laughs> yeah, no, they, um, no, they did a good job. I think I went off air there for a minute. They did a good job. They um, Well, we didn't notice them today, so when you don't notice them, well... <laughs> we couldn't see them, that's yeah. why. I, I, think, so. I think they were good in the sense they gave players a chance to get the ball out in the yeah. open, and uh, it was very difficult. I think we might have said in the call, difficult to judge when to blow the whistle and when not yep. to in that situation. Well, the emergency umpire, Darren, look out the band umpire, Sam Whiffin, Pat Scott and Dennis Hargraves. The goal umpires today, Stan Bacorny, Steve McDonald, and the emergency goal umpire, Richie Robinson, they're getting their medals. The band the umpires earned their money. Yeah, they did. <laughs> running up and down. It's in the third quarter. I'll tell you what, who had the best job today was the emergency umpires. Cause didn't, they didn't have, have to, to move, did he? <laughs> he great job. Got a medal, didn't have to move. Yeah. He was just uh, hoping like hell that uh, no yeah. umpire got hurt. He'd be laughing at the other fellas, <laughs> wouldn't he? So the... Uh, VCFL medal as voted on by the umpires this afternoon for the best player on the ground in the grand final will be announced shortly as will our Carrington Hotel player of the day medal which uh, we gave to Darren Ryan this afternoon It's a fair indication of the, of the support and following Bannockburn have got like it's very very wet and cold out in the ground but there's still two or three hundred people out yep. in the ground in front of us and that's sensational isn't it? They have built a following up over the years and I think as Jason touched on the junior players with their I don't think their under 18s lost one game in, in three years, haven't they? And so they're all coming through. So you know, for the future, it's going to be great. Yeah, well, I think uh, the clubs the clubs to be congratulated there. So uh, the VCFL medal, I think. That's a must. <laughs> yeah. For the coach. He's pretty yeah. happy about that. Yes. <laughs> so he should be. I just live around the corner from his pub too, so yeah. I'll be expecting a, uh, oh, won't a free we, beverage. Won't we both? Won't we all? Thank you. <laughs> won't we both? You, you reckon we'll be down there tomorrow? Monday? No. Monday? No. no. Tuesday, no. <laughs> and the VCFL. Uh, the VCFL medal. We're waiting. Nathan hey, Lewis always. is the VCFL medalist for season 2003. Best player in the grand final as a judge by the umpires, Bill Brebner, the West Coast Regional Director, to present the medallion to Nathan Lewis. Well, I think that was better received than last year's umpires. Yes, I think yeah. so. <laughs> and uh, now the presentation of medallions to the Premiership players. Well, we would have, if you summarised all their votes, Nathan would have been second, wouldn't he? He was. Yeah, he was second, so yes. We went Nathan Lewis, yep. That was only because of my three got him up there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Alistair Woods, number one. Played on the well wing. Today. He's a star Played of the well. making, Laurie, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Alistair, yeah, definitely. There's no doubt about that. Uh, <coughs> you spoke about the youngsters, uh, Aaron Broom, uh, Dwayne Broom, oh, all those guys out there. there there's, a, there's a lot of uh, good footballers going to come through Bannockburn. I mean, this, this fellow Maloney, Peter Maloney. showed some, some character today, didn't he? Yeah. Well, he did. He, uh, he got, well. Uh, well, in the final series, last week he came back too early yeah, he did. in the second half. and the uh, game went on. He's green. Uh, you see a bit of potential there for him, Paul? Oh, for sure. And, and he's uh, an athlete too. He, he runs the game out and that, and he learns too. You know, he, he come back today after, you know, getting really fixed up in the uh, in the qualifying final and he learned a bit today, you know, and although, you know, Dean Oakley did sort of dominate the tap outs and that, he wasn't disgraced by far. Well, well actually, he, he had 13 hit outs, so... Uh, that was a pretty good effort from yeah. four in the first quarter. Yeah, so, this, so he's uh, this young fella stood up today. Aaron Van Ingen, I yeah, played his, well. His pace was uh, terrific early. Well, I actually, at one stage, I thought that was a mismatch. I thought uh, he wouldn't be able to run with Hood, uh, yeah. and, and uh, he stuck with him. A he couple of well, the one-on-ones he? he did quite well out yeah. of that. And uh, this, this bloke is his best game. Matty Dillon, yeah. Matty Dillon, fantastic. Yeah. 
He plays well here, though, Matty Dillon. He's prepared to run and run the ball out. Uh, this guy was a good player for his suit. Sure. Yeah, so, yeah. uh, he was almost in my base, Christian Shaw. Yeah, he well all day. Very close in mine. Ben Nolan at full forward. Didn't have many opportunities. So him and Forbes had a great tussle, I reckon. Yeah, full back sure. and full forward. Uh, yeah. got, a, got yeah. a great future, this kid, though. Uh, he will, will step up and be a very good player because he's going to grow bigger and stronger. He was always threatening today, wasn't he? Yeah. Up there. Aaron Broom. Yeah, he's great, had a great, great, final final series. great final series. Yeah, he didn't, like, didn't disgrace himself today at all. He's a good sweeper, as I said, across good, back. Good he, player. He uh, mops up very well. Sam Higgledon, who came back into the team today after illness last week, kicked the, the, the sealer before his coach. Well, yeah. It's a big thrill for him. See if he can, case, see if he can get a smile, Happy. He doesn't yeah. get too many smiles. Yeah. <laughs> he might have one tonight, I think. Yeah, the drain-up. Drain-up, yeah. yeah. Crash bang. He was competitive. Yeah, very you know, competitive. Put the, put the body on the line a few times. Well, man, man, that helps in the grand final, doesn't man it? Man of his frame, too. Very hard when he's crashing in to hold him back. And Robbie Giles, the deputy vice captain. He didn't do too bad down back today. Yep. He, uh, you know, he's uh, never going to be brilliant. He does a few silly things at times. You know, he kicks out of bounds in the full poly. He should keep the ball in play. He'll learn all that as he goes along. For sure. <laughs> ben Hinchcliffe. I tell you, he didn't yeah. do a bad job either. No, yeah. Yeah, showed a bit of pace. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's truth. <laughs> Always a comedian, uh, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Party game starting to happen. Dwayne yeah. Broom. Yeah. Aaron's brother, or... Yeah. or he, he has the quite, freak, as they call the freak. him. Yeah. He hasn't quite got the class of Aaron, but he's a very uh, methodical player, isn't he? He gets where the ball the is, yeah. yeah. Reads it well. Clinton Shaw, yeah. one of the experienced players in the back line. Very, very, very handy for them today, particularly on ball. Well, uh, not so much today, but he's uh, capable of playing tall. He, uh, yeah. He's got a good pair of hands when he does go for, for a mark. Cameron Carr, who came to the club this year with Nathan Lewis after premiership. winning a premiership yeah. at South Colac last year. Making, making fun of it, the, these guys, with yeah. the premierships. And uh, number 50, David Gibbs. Yeah, from North Geelong. Did he play in the Premiership last year, Rick? Um, David Gibbs, I don't know. Daniel did. Uh, I think he David might have been Gibbs. injured. Sorry? Yeah, Sorry. David Gibbs didn't play in the Premiership. Uh, no, I think he was injured, wasn't yeah, he? I think yeah. he had a, a fairly Didn't play one. last year? No. No, no. He's happy. Happy chappy. Corey Flanagan. Another yeah, good game yeah, today. Yeah, good Solid bottom of the pack. Day, well, actually, I thought there was... Uh, a good coaching move when they slipped him down back in the la in the third quarter. Read the play well. Well, I think I think they're able to release him because Clark came back and uh, he, yeah. he was handy in the yeah. back half. He's a bit of a favourite, I think, Tommy, isn't he? TMG yeah. out there. Oh, I they like what, him. He can play. <laughs> he can play. He can play the game. Three goals, two this afternoon for Tom. There is a kid with a future. Damien Clark, they'll be pretty happy with Pee Wee back in yeah. the team. He's pretty happy. This is a pretty gutsy effort, this. Yeah. So, Damien Clark, yeah. Premiership player at uh, North Shore. Yep. Now, Bannockburn with his coach, Darren Ryan. First year coach for Premierships. It's easy, isn't it, for Dogger? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> well, like, he won't have room for all his uh, medals and cups. Uh, and I, think, I think he played about five or six with North Shore, sure. I think. So, uh, but it's a great effort. Uh, that's a great uh, achievement to uh, take on the side. And, uh, well, early in the season, I spoke to him, and he was very, very self conscious about doing the coaching job. Yeah. Wasn't comfortable talking to players, but hasn't he matured as the years yes. go on? And he's not short of a word either, Darren, I can tell you that now. <laughs> <laughs> Is he? Yeah. He's never shown us. He's been very quiet. Oh, no, he's not short of a word. <laughs> well, to get him on television, we oh. would have had to, have to break his arm. Yeah. Oh, no. He wouldn't budge. No. Once you got him talking, though, you wouldn't shut him up. So Neville Whitley just uh, congratulating the Bannockburn team on their Premiership victory. Damien Clark and Darren Ryan to receive the Premiership Cup from Russell Enders, the chairman of Buckley's Entertainment Centre. And uh, Darren Ryan's calling Ronnie Pilgrim up. And uh, Dale Smith, he's Dale uh, Smith, yeah, he's chairman assistant, selectors. yeah. yeah. Yeah, they've had a very, very good working crew, haven't they? Behind the scenes, yeah, Danny for sure. this year, the blokes with a bit of experience. He was the reserves coach too this yeah. year, Ronnie, so they've done very well. Darren Ryan speaking to the crowd at the moment. 
commiserating Thompson on making the grand final, but uh, somebody had to lose today. <laughs> Wants the players to get up there with him and the uh, coaching staff on their 2003 Premiership victory. We'll take a break here at St Albans Reserve, come back and wrap things up in the 2003 GDFL Grand Final coverage on 94.7, the Pulse, your home of local football. Who? Oh. Why? Oh, is he? Good way to finish. Yeah. He's going back to North Shore. Who? I don't know. Darren Robin. Good way to win. One, 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 one year, one premiership. I heard that they were in the spectrum. 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 I wanted Brett, 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 but he's there. I'll get Nathan Berg. I won't just heal him. Oh, imagine that. You wouldn't sleep in the week. <laughs> imagine playing on him in a grand final. I wonder if Brett will hold his job with him. <laughs> yeah, that's right, exactly. Blake told me that it worked. Hey. Long time ago, oh, yeah. he he Does one of his brothers or his cousin or something play there? They've got a Malloy that plays at Ocean Grove. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's yeah there is a Malloy. Yeah. Andrew or something. He'd be he brutalise people. <laughs> In the ballerine league of all leagues. Of all leagues. Thanks, Fred. Yes, it is the final siren. Thanks to Australian Treader Pine this afternoon. Bannockburn 10 10 70 have defeated Thompson 5 13 43 by 27 points to win the 2003 GDFL Premiership in the senior grade competition. Just before we go any further, the reserves in the under 18s this morning and this afternoon. Eric, the final scores in those games. Yeah, the reserves uh, East Geelong 9 10 64 defeated the previously undefeated Corio 8 10 58. And in the under 18s, Bannockburn 13 4 82 defeated Valpostel 9 2 56. So the winners, Bannockburn in the seniors and the under 18s and in the reserves, East Geelong. It's going to be a big party in Bannockburn tonight, I would suspect. Oh, well, for sure, yeah, and they deserve every, every bit of it too. They'll uh, really lap it up, and uh, they are good to win uh, premierships. And uh, you go away with the boys, and uh, tonight it's all sort of supporters and that, and then uh, tomorrow they have their vote count or whatever. Then Monday, you get in with the boys and uh, it is a good time and uh, it's good to be part of, of any premiership and uh, the boys thing. But Thompson, you know, they, they had a good year. Obviously, they, they didn't get there in the end, but I bet you they drink just as much of beer as the uh, Bannockburn boys do. They'll probably get in just as well, won't it? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Once, once you get over the initial shock of losing and that, and you sit back and think, well, you know, that's it. What, what can we do about it now? It's gone now, so, you know, you sit back and have a few with the boys and, and get together. I suppose the compensation is they were both there. Corio, brilliant year for home and home and, yeah. and weren't in the grand final. So, yeah, for uh, sure. That's the way it goes. Uh, could we just uh, analyse that just a little bit, uh, you know, just how the game planned out today? I didn't think there was much in it at half time. I think it could have went either way. And, and uh, Thompson, you know, they had the use of the breeze and... Uh, Torrential rain came down and uh, probably flooded any uh, opportunity I had to uh, probably uh, win the game. Uh, it was going to be very, very difficult. You know, they didn't probably have a winning margin all being equal at half time, but as it turned out, it was certainly enough. And, uh, you know, that's it, that's in the lap of the gods, I think. And uh, I thought uh, Bannockburn, to their credit, did play quite well in the last quarter, but saying that, uh, the rain had stopped and uh, it was just a ball that was heavy and uh, you just had to play wet with a footy. But uh, it sort of took the gloss off uh, a grand final a little bit. But uh, I feel for a guy like Nick Maharis, hasn't played in the grand final. Uh, 
still hasn't played in one as well. Yeah. So, uh, I, you know, I don't know how long you hang around for. Well, she knows more about the the team for me. I mean, it was certainly a loss losing Troy Feldman. That didn't help their grand yeah. final. Uh, uh, I thought, uh, you know, uh, they've got some good players here. I don't know what Thompson's future are. It's always hard to dip into the barrel. Shane Stone... Uh, you know, he's been appointed for next year, so he's got the job of heading to go out now and recruit. It's a disappointing thing when you do lose a grand final, but you can jump into it now and recruit a few players, someone probably to help by Dean yeah. Oakley, and um, he can't do it all on his own. But uh, the future's still at Thompson, I think. But then, then they, they feel well, she, they lost it in the first quarter, kicking with the Bruise, they only got 3 4. Uh, Bannockburn got a goal against it. That's right. Bannockburn yep. showed in the second quarter with seven goals yep. that, that goals were kickable. Down that end. Well, it was definitely it's been it was the scoring in most of the day, and it was going to be very, very hard to kick goals up the other end. And one goal up the other end was probably worse three yeah. to them, you know. Yeah. And they've done that, and they've summed up brilliantly. You know, Thompson didn't finish; they had the ball up there in their 50 metre line, you know, for 80 percent of that first quarter, and they just didn't finish finish off. And uh, they all credit the Bannockburn back line, you know, they got back there, they helped each other, they backed each other up. And as the day went on, you could see the game just unfolding. The Bannockburn were getting better and uh, sort of pulling the game back to their way. And once the torrential rain came, well, that, you know, that was it. That was a game over, I think. And we, we all sort of thought that, although we couldn't say it, but we, we all sort of knew it, knew yeah. that it was going to go on. So, yeah, no, congratulations to Bannockburn. They thoroughly deserve it. And uh, Thompson, well, there's always next year. And yeah, Shane Stone...